special delivery. Got some hybrid stuff to show you guys. Promise you guys I do a hybrid haul. And then Janelle is going to take you guys over to the other side of the shed and show you some stuff she found at the Amazon bin store. Yes. And you even got a little footage for, to show them. A little bit. Not much. A couple of clips. Yeah. Spice <laughs> sprinkle in there a little. Yeah, sprinkle little, it in. A little salt. Uh, picked up this stuff. A lot of this was actually contents of a cabinet. And that was the title of the It's just lot. this bag now? Nope. Or um, the, the, yeah, the, the lot was contents of this cabinet. And it was a picture of a cabinet. I think there was something good. I'm, I'm there was some books. There was something good in there that I liked yeah. and why I bid on it. So this this isn't part of the contents of the cabinet. No. So it's this bag. Yeah. That's right here. And then we got boxes down here that I'll bring up and show you guys. Uh, let me pull this box down then. So it was these, bo these books. This here was on the contents of the cabinet. And this not this no th this is cool actually i can't wait to show you guys that we got this <laughs> stuff i thought i was pulling another squirrel out and i pulled out a rock with appears to be some shells on it this uh honey did you cop this by any chance <laughs> no no i don't no? know you didn't cop that mm. I, I don't remember that being the contents of the cabinet so then there's a squirrel Bunny? Bunny. That's a bunny, not a squirrel. <laughs> and I don't think we comp this either, right? So this mm -hmm. this is just freebie stuff. Uh, this will probably go to Goodwill. <laughs> unless we unless we put it in our front yard. Um, again, these were just glasses, all part of the cabinet. Um, we may list some of this stuff. I don't know if it's really worth sitting on for a while. As you can see, a very, very nice uh, Beanie Baby. Yep, that's out of here. Uh, a book on, yeah, yep, yeah, that's, that's right there with that. Uh, some brushes, yeah, them kind of gross me out. We're gonna get rid of them. All right, ew, all right, okay, another brush. Now, this new Brunswick mug, maybe, maybe something. What do you think, honey? Maybe five bucks. Mm. <laughs> I don't know, usually not, but maybe. Although, we got, ah, oh, this might be something. Don't forget to drink your Ovaltine, honey. Wow. Sample package. Yeah, we'll have to check that out. <sighs> we'll check that out. 12 colors of what? Buckeye school crayons. Oh, look at that. Little crayons in there. Oh, cute. This box reeks. I don't know what it's, I can't even describe the smell. I wish I could send the smell to you guys. I think they had a cat because I noticed some Yeah, that here. might be what I'm smelling and it's not the cat I'm smelling, it's excretions from the cat. Oh uh, yeah, Ooh, okay, um, I'm done with this box. So then we got this box here, which has all these. Um, I, I don't even, I'm not even gonna count these, it's. Do you, uh, I don't know, you wanna list like a set of four of these or not even bother? I'm Probably thinking. not, I don't think they even have a brand yeah. or anything. I guess if we had a garage sale going on or something, we'd list them or put or list them, put them out there in the garage sale. But so these books is what drew me to the um, auction of the contents of the cabinet. Mm -hmm. Other than that, smelly stuff. Um, I comped these books when I was looking at it, and again, nobody was bidding on it. We won this for a dollar, so the sell through rate sucked. There was one sold. Uh, comp that I there was one there was one sold comp that I did see of for a ten set of ten of these books went for forty dollars and I also didn't see many for sale so for a dollar why not and it's media shipping easy listing picture picture you know title bloop done up up it goes so that's why I bid on that a dollar so the next thing on the same auction so same pickup uh, same location Janelle had to drive to. What, about a half hour away? Yeah, half so, hour. Was a box of toys. I watched this and Janelle bid on it. Uh, a dollar again. Honey, you want to talk about what drew your attention to this? I mean, I don't, I think there was maybe only one picture even. I couldn't even see what was in the box, but just because it was a box of toys, I figured I'd try for a dollar or a couple bucks and see, and nobody else ended up bidding on it, so... Got for a dollar. I figured I'd dig through it and see if there's anything yeah, let's good. Yeah, let's dig through real quick and show them what we got. I don't even think you know what's in here yet, no, right? No, I haven't so, in here either. 
So you got a dowel there. Yeah, see, it feels cheap. I don't think that's it. That's okay. Nothing. Well, we'll get rid of that then. Yeah. <laughs> got a plush bear that's covered in cat hair. That's no good though. Mm, no, nothing. I don't think it's only cat hair. This stuff is covered in. Yeah. <laughs> a dragon. Nothing. Thing. Eh, probably not. It's it seems fair. like kind of a carnival. One of those carnival toys. Yeah. An old baby stacking toy. I don't know. Missing a ring. Is that a transformer? It looks like a transformer type, type of thing, but I don't know for sure. Here we go. Transformers can be good, right? 1994 Echo Squad. Playmate. Playmates Toys. So Playmates Toys is a brand that did like you know, licensed toys in that, um, but I don't know that might, that might be what good. Exo Squad is. We'll, we'll yeah, set that it's, aside. It's that might be something we'll, worth. We'll look it up. Yeah, got a... Um, what is that? It's a, is that a policeman, <laughs> a motorcycle policeman. <laughs> That's cool. That is cool. I mean, no brand or anything, I don't think, on it's it, but it's, it's, it's cool neat. It's, a, it's an older motorcycle. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Probably not going to list it. A bag of play plates and like a teapot and probably nothing bag of dinosaurs and animals not um, not jurassic park though right i don't think so bigger cars um i mean maybe something is worth i i know nothing about hot wheels cars and that like this isn't even that's not even a brand so i see a ninja turtle in here there you go but might be a, like a cheap one. Come on, honey, find the gold. Yeah. No uh, accessories. 1991 Mirage Studios Playmates Toys Ninja Turtle, but he doesn't have a belt or anything even. I don't know if there's any accessories in here, but some other... I don't know who that is. Miramax Film. Oh, for McDonald's. 2002. I don't know who that is. So a couple of them. Another Ninja Turtle. He's got something on him there. City Is that sewer. A sewer cap? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I had this guy once. <laughs> I remember him. This looks like it's a McDonald's toy. Oh, he looks familiar. Yeah, that's the uh, McDonald's character, right? Yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's that's probably like this way, you think? Or? Yeah, I'd probably throw that out. Lewis Marks. Um, I feel like I've looked up Lewis Marks army guys and like little figures before and I don't know if I just I don't know I gotta look them look that up but that's a brand there's something wet in there okay I just yeah that's what is that was this in the garage or outside it might have been but it, not when I picked it up there's something wet in there a bunch of Indians and um Cowboys and Indians, some army guys. We'll leave that for Janelle to dive through. The, the front. Yeah, Z-A-K. Let me see. Zach's Sack. Ohio Art. Turn around. Yeah, these are called, yeah. these are Zach's. Zach's Scat. So it's Zach's Sack. Never heard of them, but I'll look them up. <laughs> so the last thing that Janelle picked up at that same auction uh, was this box here. It is Elgin American and it's a cigarette box uh, to put your cigarettes in and it's got like a little lighter. It's like a little gift set thing. Or something fancy if you're going out, you know. Yeah, put somewhere. it in your dress coat pocket. Yeah. Or, I'm sorry, your suit coat, put it in your suit coat pocket. Uh, it's got the lighter here that pulls out. It's pretty neat. I was able to find this exact one um, there aren't really any of these for sale, if many at all, and there was uh, quite a, not quite a few, there was a few solds, yeah. anywhere between like 30 to $50 for this, and that was without this case, uh, rougher condition, and I think some of them even didn't even have the lighter for that price right. too, so they'll, they'll be pretty cool. We're going to probably list this maybe, I don't know, we'll try a 50 to $60 yeah. range and then go from there. Yep. Probably start out at 60 and then drop it down mm -hmm. after a month if it doesn't move. Right. So I was pretty excited about that. And then because this was the main reason yes. we, we were bidding on the auction, because we knew we were going to win that. I, I can't say we knew we were going to win it, 
But um, it looked like we were going to win it. Nobody was bidding against us. Um, our $13 bid was pretty solid and staying. Mm -hmm. So Janelle went ahead and bid on that box of toys for a dollar and a couple other things to make it worth her while to right. drive out there to pick this stuff up because thinking maybe we'll be able to get something else. Yeah. Another auction Janelle went to pick, pick up are these records. Um, pretty cool. Got Skid Row. <laughs> Live Crew. Never heard of them. And Duckin. Um, now, what did we pay for these? Do you remember? No. Um, I feel like one of, I think the the two live crew one, um, I think I might have paid $10 or so for that because I was seeing. Together? No. Oh, each? Just, just for that one. But then these ones were cheaper. Like, I think I might have paid okay. a couple bucks then each for the Duckin and the Skid Row. I remember bidding these up a little bit because I wanted to at least break even on them. I, I was okay breaking even on them because I wanted to, I wanted to play test them. Mm -hmm. I wanted to hear them. We bid on quite a few things on both of these two separate auctions and we just didn't win the stuff. So that's all we got. Uh, this one here is a touch lamp. We bid up on this. Uh, sold comps go about 80 to hundred dollars for yeah. this sucker. And there's not many listed at all. It's pretty rare. There's uh, ones with different um, designs and that. Yeah. For, for the exact same white we were able to find. And it does work. I know a lot of these touch lamps, won't work after a while, but this this is excellent condition, excellent piece, very nice piece, very nice piece. But I wasn't too worried about shipping this. Janelle said it was a little bigger than she thought. I was well aware of the size of this because I remembered the touch lamps from back in the day. But these uh, glass panels do come off very carefully and we can bubble wrap these individually. And I believe this comes off too. So I'll be able to, I mean, it's still gonna be a decent sized box. Uh, how much did we pay for this, honey? I know we bid up on it. Was it 20, 20 or yeah. 17 maybe? 17 or 20? I, I thought like it that. might have been 25. I think 25 was going to be our max we'd go I think, on this. Yeah, I don't think we went any higher than 20. It might have been 17.50. So it looks like you spent quite a bit of money at the Amazon bin store, yes. honey. Yes, I did. <laughs> it might be the most I've ever spent at the Amazon bin store. Not sure. Maybe. How much? <laughs> I think it came to about 149 or so. Ooh. So... It was $9 an item, right? Because yes. it was restock day, you said? Yeah. This stuff should be pretty good because we've had a bad experience with this store with a lot of broken or used, um, or used things. So Janelle's been said she's been very thorough on uh, the things she purchases. I'm, you know, inspecting it and making sure it's all, you know, of decent uh, quality. Yeah, because ju just because it looks new and looks sealed, I mean, certain things you can tell, but... I, yeah, I've been looking in boxes a lot more. A Panasonic hair dryer, uh, nano compact hair dryer folds. Should be able to get 40 to 50 bucks for this. Box isn't in the best of shape, but um, even open box, it should go go pretty good. All pieces are there. Stranger Things, is that still a thing? I, I never yes. watched it, is it still a good oh, show? Oh yeah, yeah, the, la the latest season uh, just finished up, I think. So this is one of the characters from the latest season. Um, uh, action figure of Eddie. Box is a little a little torn in that, but um, he's still new in the package. It is open, you know. I pulled it out and checked it and everything just to see, you know. Uh, it should go between thirty and forty dollars. Got a Navage nasal care saline nasal irrigation. Um, you've probably seen the commercials for these. I I recognize it from the commercials. I. I don't know, it's pretty goofy looking, but I mean, it's supposed to be, I don't know, it's supposed to be really good. Should go for about $65. And this is one thing that I didn't open because the seal looks factory sealed. I, I looked real close at it. I looked at different angles. I don't and, think we want to be selling used uh, nasal right. flusher well, things. Well, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it, it does it does look like a factory seal and everything. So um, there's a little, there's a, looks like somebody had maybe gotten a, you know, when they opened the box. Oh, that's when they the opened the case, cutter. the master case. Yeah, thing. there's a, a little cut in the cardboard, but it's not all the way through. Got a little camera, a little stabilized camera, Feiyu Pocket 2. And this one, I, um, will, will have to double check this, you know, with comps and model numbers and everything. I opened it and looked at it. Um, it's all there except for the charger cord, uh, a USB cord, which might be like a USB-C or something. So We could probably find yeah, one. Yeah, that's what I... I'd go find one at the bins. Yeah, really. So I figured, you know, that would be fine. Yeah. But um, there's a comp pre-owned for this for $173.
What? Yeah. How much? So 173. It's really cool. It's like on a gimbal. That's pretty cool. It's it's a cool little camera. I tell you what, does, does this film 4K? Might do some YouTube videos with this sucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, it was pretty neat looking That's at cool. it. That's cool. I was nice. very, uh, very nervous when That's I looked fine. at those comps. I was very nervous handling it and making sure it was all right. Some of the stuff you're going to see, like the 20 to $30 stuff, we're okay getting smaller margins. Yes, she paid $9 for it. I should say 30 to 40. We're probably going to go into the $20 Yeah, range usually not. After fees and that. Right. But we're okay with the smaller margins because these are going to be easy listings. Right. They're, they're new open box things. We don't need to disclose a certain condition, take pictures of any scratches, right. test... Well, there's some testing. But yeah, but I mean, for the most part, it's it's usually pretty easy list. I mean, yeah, you got the box. A lot of times there's usually... a barcode to scan. Bam, there's our listing yeah. with the cell similar. A gaming wireless headset for Xbox, Turtle Beach Stealth 600. Um, opened it up. It, you know, it is open. All there and everything. And should go for about 50, bu 50 bucks or so. Very cool. Yeah, there was a lot of hair dryers and curling irons there today, and I know we said that we don't really do <laughs> curling irons. I did look up a few just for G-Wiz, and... Not they, good? No, they weren't worth it. <laughs> so, what I said in the last video. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but I did get a hair dryer, bedhead hair dryer here. It's got the little attachment and everything. Um, open box should still go for 35 to $40. How long would you say you were there, honey? Let's see, so they open at 9 and I think I was probably there, um, you'll probably laugh at me, I think I was there for like an hour and a half to two hours. That's, because that's I, not horrible. That's not yeah, horrible. I, I go through... Well, because like, you, you probably had about 40 minutes of going through this stuff. Because yeah. when I say thoroughly, you got to go through this stuff thoroughly. Because yeah. we did the kind of, you know, to keep it uh, clean, half butt checking things. And um, we thought it was good and stuff. And then we got it home. And it wasn't, you know, because when people return stuff, they try to make it look new so they can yeah. return it. So yeah, so I, I made a few mistakes getting a few things that in I in the thought past. Were new yeah, and... so you probably spent a good probably. I, I'm my yeah. writer. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. That's true. Definitely. Thorough going through. And it I, I picked up a lot of stuff. I mean, you'll see. I, I got some footage of my cart. I picked up a lot of stuff. Like my cart was. So you put a lot stacking. back. I put a lot back. Yeah, and I I figure you know as I'm picking this stuff up, I'm like I I'm positive you know obviously i'm not going to be getting all this stuff but at least now in the future too i know if this stuff is worth it or not i know what stuff to not look up anymore mm. that helps too so i mean i you know but i i did find some some good stuff andis t outliner corded trimmer um <clears throat> not i i almost didn't pick this this up um i'm not positive if it's used or if it's just open box it didn't it's look used well the the top of the box it looks like it had something drip on it but yeah. the inside of the box is fine it didn't soak through the box or anything and that should come off um but used these even go for thirty dollars i was gonna say that looks like a real like barber one like a an industrial strength yeah, one for I, like because it know, looks like a metal yeah i mean i don't know anything about yeah. these i guess you might know more than i i would but um, look at my hair. Does it look like I know much about clippers? Um, you used to get it cut <laughs> short, but, uh, yeah, even used, you know, even used that this can go for $30 or so. So I figured I'll give it a shot. This looks cool, honey. Xbox, huh? Yes. An Xbox controller, uh, Wolverine Chroma. I don't know. I don't know that brand or whatever, but it says it's made for Xbox and it looked like somebody, um, put it back so I don't know if they maybe were going to get it for personal use and then they decided against it because when I count it, it comps at $85. Nice. All the, I mean, everything's there. There's we, not... we have an Xbox, so we could test this if we wanted well, to. For, I... for that price, maybe we should be? Or just... uh, well, it might depend on the... I don't know if it is for certain ones or... You, you get that a lot, actually. You'll find like highly valuable stuff that people have put back from their cart. You know, you know yeah. the initial rush of going in there the first 10 minutes, oh, grab this, grab... And then you put the stuff back. Okay, I didn't really want that because, you know, yeah. it's like first come, first serve. Yeah, yeah, But you, exactly. you found a lot of stuff that way. So it's like you almost got to do a second or third wave through the bins yeah, after that's, everybody puts everything back they don't want. Yeah, that's part of why I, I try to stick around a little bit too is after I count my car and put stuff back and I try to look at who else is doing the same thing and I try to look at what, you know, stuff that they're putting back. And, yeah, sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll find stuff on my way out even. A Bluetooth marine amplifier, huh? Yeah, um, 
nothing too exciting, I guess. It seems like, I don't know. It feels yeah. light, so I'm gonna guess it's not worth a ton. It's been well, just my guess. Yeah, when I, there's different models in that, but I tried to look up, you know, specifically the two channel uh, model here, and it seems to go for like 50 to $55 yeah. or so. Um, obviously, I wanted Frank to check it out because I mean, with the wires and everything, just found a few Lego sets the past couple times at the Amazon bin store. And they're usually not like crazy money that I would expect. To Probably because they're newer. Sets. If if you Maybe. sit on these for a couple of years, they get worth more. Not not all of them, Maybe, yeah. but yeah, some of them you can take a gamble on, sit on for a couple of years, That's and true. they'll be worth money. That might be we true. won't do that. We we're in it for the quick flips. We just yeah, we, we want we want the wheel stuff. turning. We're not right. We're not collectors. We're not you know store investors. We just <laughs> we just flip. We're just flippers, man. We just flip crap. <laughs> yep. But this, this set goes for, for $28 or so, give or take. And um, the boxes usually have a little bit of damage in there, but it's still sealed. You know, Especially I mean, with Christmas time coming. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even with the box being a little bent in that, but I mean, $28 or so should be able to get. Yeah, this one's in a lot rougher shape, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I would have had a hard time putting this back though. Um, it's got it's got a little tear in the box. The box is bent in a few spots, still sealed. No like, you know, gaping holes or anything. Um, in good shape, I guess it would go for $45. So, I mean, maybe we could price it at 30 or something even. You know, and with and Christmas still... coming, you never know. Oh, this is cool. I know what this is. This is uh, so you don't get like blood clots and stuff, right? When you're in bed. Yeah. Well, I mean, just... And not consider medical equipment, right? Because we can't... I don't think you can sell medical so. equipment on eBay. I don't think so. They sell us, I mean, on Amazon. And well, I it's a, and it's, it says uh, air compression leg massager. Right. So. With heat. And um, I've actually looked at these myself before on Amazon just because I love... I love leg massages. And so I was looking at these um, a while back, just curious and everything. And it's open box. You know, stuff is open in there, but it doesn't look like it's been used i mean it's it's clean there's comps anywhere from 35 to 55 so not huge money but i figured even i could try it <laughs> if we if we weren't to sell it just because it sounded really nice um, especially in the winter time or whatever but do you want this honey maybe i don't know somebody there was another guy there that saw it in my car he's like oh that looks nice <laughs> it sounds like i'll have to come out here and do some christmas shopping for uh for the family. Yeah, really. <laughs> so we got the lamp here that we talked about. We're definitely listing that we already know about. These things actually ended up being worth some money. Uh, the little Buckeye crayons uh, can go for what? About 30 bucks 30, you said on yeah. worth point? These, there were some, not this brand, but there were similar things that looked like this with different brand of vintage crayon containers. Uh, there were some solds for like 60 bucks. So keep an eye out for them. I'm, I'm thinking like maybe like museums and stuff that want to set maybe. up little yeah. or you know old scenes, even movies and that. Uh, this thing here, the little Ovaltine thing, that we could might be actually get twenty to twenty five dollars for. There's none for sale, and there's not many solds, but the couple solds were about thirty dollars, twenty five to thirty dollars with a better condition. So I'll you know being that there's none listed, we'll try to price this at maybe twenty bucks, fifteen bucks. Cool. They're small enough, we'll let them sit. The books, obviously, we're listing them. So these glasses, uh, not huge demand. I wouldn't have bought these on their own at a garage sale. I believe they're called Libby, Libby yeah, Deer, brand. White Deer. Libby. Uh, you, yeah, I mean, a couple of these uh, sold maybe for like 15, 20 bucks. There were some solds on these. You know, they, they come in taller ones too. Some people were selling sets or individual ones. So we'll, we'll pair these up and sell them together. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, figures weren't really worth anything. Now, if they were new sealed, cash, that's yeah. money. They didn't really have accessories. I've seen like pairs of them going for 12 to $15 with all the accessories. You know, that, that was missing stuff, so whatever. But this guy here, uh, it's called the Foot Soldier. He goes for about $20 alone, just as he is right there as you see him. So we're going to list that guy. Janelle looked these dinosaurs up. Uh, were these selling as a set, honey? Yeah, mostly as a set, two, three, sometimes more, maybe 10 to $12 for the set. I saw a sold listing for this Transformer guy. Uh, I think it was about like 30 bucks, 25 $30. And he had a little guy in there and a couple of lights that plug in in there. I couldn't find um, any for sale. And... Not this particular one, but I've seen some of these go for some good money. They're all the same brand. So Is it an actual transformer? Yeah, it's it's oh. uh it's called Exo Squad Robotech. I, I don't know if that's yeah. called Transformer, but yeah. but there's an Exo Squad Robotech oh, 
brand okay. that, you know, some were cheap and some were going for some money. And I didn't see much of this listed or sold, so <laughs> it might be something to yeah, look into cool. a little bit more. This stupid thing here, <laughs> if you can help me out with this, I did an image search and stuff just like that design was coming up um, for sale for some decent money. There was no brand listed to it or anything, so I couldn't really type it in the search to get the sold comps. Um, there was like apples, acorns and stuff. I don't know what that is. That's it's, not an apple. It's pretty light. It's not real heavy. Yeah, either. yeah, because some were saying paperweight, and that's not a paperweight. No. Um, there was other listings that were saying something about oil, so like an oil... Um, oh, it might be like an oil diffuser. Like diffuser, thing. Yeah. maybe? So, so I don't know. We, we probably won't list it. I... I whatever records i didn't comp these um if there's anything cool i'll put them on the screen but they're you know usually um 80s rock stuff anywhere from 15 to 20 dollars depending on condition and what it is so that's it for the auction stuff uh it's friday night in the shed and if you watch our videos you know what we do friday nights we hit it hard if we got nothing going on so i gotta get to taking pictures and get this stuff up and listed um we got some pretty decent dollar stuff items that we want to get up there and get yeah. sold Get it out the shed so we can get some more stuff in here. No garage sales Saturday morning, nope. uh, right? Or are you gonna look them up? Or uh, I mean, it's it's been very light. We we got a lot of stuff to list yeah. over the weekend here, so we'll be busy. So thanks for hanging out with us in the shed. If you haven't had your fix, two more videos here and here, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching. See you again on the next one.